Welcome back to Murphy's Diesel. So we're building a cross member bar for the transmission. Just gonna build a plate right here. Two bars gonna cross, bend it down, plate right here that we can bolt on and off. And that's about it for today. Yes, precisely. What do you think, Tate? I think we should do two pipes and then a bracket in the middle of the pipes and bend them. That's what I was thinking. Yep. I was thinking, let me ask you real quick. On this truck, would you run a Gala 12 or a Gala 24? 24. 24. <laughs> Didn't know pizza places made motors. What do you got there? Uh, a pre-bent pipe. Let's use them for measurement. Get out. Let's get the plate made. I don't know. So we got our bars bent, cut out a bracket, this plate. It's gonna bolt to the transmission. Just gotta eyeball it on there and hope it works. Are you still playing eyeball garage? Yeah. <laughs> this is not fit. Needs to go over like an eighth of an inch. <laughs> right. It'd probably fit if you came in straight. What's going on with it? Cut it some more right here. All right, sounds good. You see what's going on? It's working. Did you fit it again? I have to twist it. Well, folks, it's Cross. it's one o'clock uh, p.m. So we're out here. Mm -hmm. Cross members are overrated, anyways. What are they even for? They don't do nothing. What are you doing today, Mark? We're gonna be pulling this two-wheel drive front axle out. We're gonna throw a four-wheel drive axle in it where it's gonna get a four by four spot. What kind of tires are we putting on? Forties. Oh yeah. Just gonna be a monster. Tires are here for Hellboy. Everyone's first time seeing them. What do you think, De Niro? They should invent some kind of wheel. That spins on like an electric Yeah. Piece. I think I well, think they might be it. Let's see. see. We got bamboozled last time. Oh, oh language. <laughs> what the <laughs> language, Tate? Oh, <laughs> These things are gosh dang. Look at the knobs on those. Those are like three inch knobs. Sit inside it so we can roll it. <laughs> Let us roll you down the ramp. Off the back. Here, stand yeah. next to it. But Tate, you're about 6'8". Oh, yeah. I'm uh, 7 foot 2. Jeez. That's a tire. That's awesome. Look at those knobs. 
Those are like six inch knobs. Well, should we just roll them off the back? Yeah. Sticky trousers. These things are sick. Is that the spare? <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's a Mark's spare now? God. Oh, we can't run these. Why? They're Mickey Thompson. Better tires than you got. <laughs> these are 17 inch rims. Uh, Nims are good. Uh, is the rim size right? Are they? Uh, is that a 24? Probably. Yeah, it is. Hey Garrett, come check these out. Here, help me put one, one next, next to you. Oh, that's gonna give it six inch more. Jeez. It's actually not too too bad. Until we lose it. I think it's the momentum behind it. Let's take him down uh, the hill, how back. <laughs> I don't like backwards. I don't like backwards. <laughs> All right, you think you're down? Let him mount. That's crazy. You can put a whole body in there and mount the rim on it still. <laughs> just mount them. Yeah. Don't ask why I drop pounds. They're 10 pound weights on every corner. 8 pounds of kilo. Cut it out on the plasma table. Of what we need, so I'm just gonna mock it up to see if. Did it's... you video the tires? Yeah, I got the tire videos. I don't know if you guys saw those. Going on De Niro's new Tacoma. Bring it in close. Cut it by hand. I just pressed a button. With my hand. Is it you messing with the machine? Someone keeps messing with it. Putting it at 15 volts and 100 wire speed. Really? Yeah, you can't even like. There's no fusion, no like. I don't know what you're welding with that. I'm only attacking these for mock up. This is part of the bracket. Like a glove? Like a glove. Well, that looks straight to me. <laughs> well then. <laughs> I might have to do some grinding on that. Oh yeah. Let's see if this other one's any different. No. Well, folks, numbers do lie. About an eighth inch. So I could bang it in there. But so let's call it good? No, I don't want to bang it in there because it'll you know, push against. Then when I go to take it off, it'll be too snug. I want about 0 0.0004 thousandths of an inch clearance on each side. Well, while Seth does that, we're gonna go check on Mark. How's it going over here, Mark? You getting it done? Yeah, I gotta pull the top side off. So I can get this hot bolt out. There's only one way to get this bolt out, and it runs right into the uh, exhaust. So this is my downfall, or else I'd have it out already. 
I mean, the other ones are very accessible, but this is a little difficult. So. Well, folks, in case nobody told you yet, Marky Mark here is putting a... What are you putting in her? We're putting in the old axle out of Hellboy, and we're converting it to four-wheel drive. New transfer case, and all the good. Is it going to work? Oh, yeah. Perfect? Perfect. Perfect? Perfect. Just plan. 10-4 rubber ducky. Well, we're just tacked together. Just gotta weld it out. Compared to my old one. It's a lot better. Rick or Rick did not like my old one. No? A little wonky. Wasn't very pleased or what? We wanted bigger brackets on that. And instead of the holes being crooked, he wanted them slotted. And I do agree. It looks well, a lot better. Okay, so that, that's pretty good. Yeah. I would say it is better than a flap disc. So maybe that's what it's meant for. It's not meant for grinding. It's meant for just like... Cleaning stuff up. Cleaning stuff up. all done. Now just gotta drill some holes. We'll do that after once we get it mocked up in there but we're gonna take it up to our uh, paint tech so you can powder coat it in this paint booth and make it look real professional and nice. Paint tech. First coat's on, folks. First coat's on. Powder coat. Only seven more coats to go. Is that what you recommend? Seven coats? Yeah. Okay. And seven coats of uh, that one stuff. So how many cans would you, I mean, uh, liters of paint do you use for your air gun on this? Twelve. Twelve liters? Yeah. Sounds about right. Looks well, like good. You get, you know, a lot of layers. It helps with yeah. the strength. I like those run lines, how they're like custom. Like it gives a real, the run lines really give it a yeah, custom I, look. Yeah, I did that on purpose. I figured he did it on purpose. Yeah, I wanted to look extra professional. Yeah. I like the lighting in your paint booth too. It's like, yeah, it helps me paint a lot. It's not windy or sprinkling rain or nothing. And yeah, I, yeah, and no overspray on all the nice trucks either. Yeah. They just got done waxing them, so I doubt the paint will stick. Yeah, I, I'm professional. I actually have a PhD in this. Detroit. My wife and daughter went down to the airport. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Detroit. Hey. These times. Come on, Detroit. Are those it? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, oh, my gosh. That's almost as tall as I am. Are these the 54? Right here? Those, yeah. These are. These are I didn't know those are 52s. These are 52s? Oh my goodness. Did you send Auntie a picture? Yeah. <laughs> Is that the new one? Yeah, it's in. Uh, I just gotta, we gotta get the shocks. Shocks, springs. Shocks and springs in, then we could uh, tighten the, the link and tighten the link up. What do we got going on now? Uh, just a whole bunch of custom stuff. I just freehanded that. Uh, just gonna 
look like that. That's the body mount, by the way. So, you know, looks a lot badasser. More gooder. It looks more gooder than the old one. So that's the old one. might be stronger but we don't care this about looks good. yeah we don't care about any of that as long as it looks better gooder gooder i'd rather be broken down looking good than broken than not broken down and looking ugly If we, if we had a good transfer case that we didn't have to rebuild, we'd be able to throw it together. Do you have a good transfer case? Yeah. I mean, it's good, but it needs to be rebuilt. It needs a new chain. How's it going, Mark? It's going. What all you got left? Um, sway bar, control arms, drag link, this guy, and then steering linkage. Should be ready to roll, huh? Yeah, we'll be there pretty soon. Within the night, four by four recoveries. What's that now? That's what I'm talking no, about. Sick. Sick. Badass up there. Fill these gaps. Fill them in. Grind it all out. Make it look like one piece. It's good. How about these GD tires, huh? What was your first thought? That's small. It's average, really. Yeah, average. Yeah. How about these GD tires, folks? <laughs> That's a 35 down there. That's a 58 up there. So before you all start going saying we're copying everybody else, I'm not because this is a 58. Tell me who else has a 50, 58. If I put my tire inside of that. I think if you do a little fender trimming, you got her. I did a little bit. Let the tire clear it. Just bolt it up and let the tire make its own way. That's what you did on the rear now, right? Yeah. Well. So these, these boys were uh, working hard here at the shop today. We got an expo we're going to in a couple weeks trying to get Hellboy ready. So I had to go to Phoenix. I had to go pick up some fuel pumps for our truck stop. Building a truck stop, folks. So you literally can get Murphy's Diesel now. You can literally get Murphy's Diesel. That's what the truck stop's gonna be called, Murphy's Diesel. Huh? So, uh, but as soon as I pulled in, we got an off-road recovery. So we're gonna hop in Denaro's, Denaro's ride. He said this thing can do it. Scott, we're gonna find out. Than your 5, does. My 5500 doesn't have bad turning radius, so. Well, I mean, like it turns less than your Awesome. So, Denaro. Stop, slapped a pair of 35s on his stock Tacoma. It's got a leveling kit. It's got a leveling kit. This kit does not care, folks. Uh, brand new truck. Got the exhaust cut off of it. Got him a leveling kit on it. 35s, saws all to the fenders. 
He likes to party. Don't forget the Tana without a radio. Yeah, Tana. So we're going to take ourselves a Wrecker Rick rope, a couple of Yankum products, and we're going to go jerk this old FedEx wagon out of the mud. Stand by. Get my old Wrecker Rick rope. Out of here. Never leave home without it. Huh? Yeah, that's what we need. All right, so so what happens, folks, is when you sell rigging products and you use rigging products, you just keep taking it off of the rack until you got 75 wreck or brick ropes and soft shackle kits. Um, well, you have a brand new hat every time I see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, so, I literally live in the warehouse where all the wreck or rick ropes and hats and shirts are kept, so I just have a plethora of Murph's diesel product. So. Hey! You got 15 miles in you can't even turn and go that way, you gotta do a slow sweep. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even turn this this ride, folks. Hey, how's your feel? We don't care. Uh so y'all remember Gare Bear, huh? Gare Bear's back. Back and ready as ever. What do you have to say to the folks, Gare Bear? Thanks for bringing Take me back. Take a wide hand Yeah. So uh Gare Bear got fired here a while back. Uh, with the, you can check out some of our old videos. You might see Gear Bear floating around in them. So, uh, he learned the error of his ways and he agreed to come back. And I agreed to take him back if he would get a cul de sac haircut. That's so, huh? That's the unknown agreement, huh? That's the agreement. Yep. This thing's, yeah, this thing's worse than the 7 ton. Has it got an engine brake on it? Ooh. You hear them horses? It's loud back here. I can barely hear you. I can barely hear you. It's loud up here. One thing I have to say about De Niro is I think he inherited my balls. Arrow's got big balls, and I like that. I don't know if it's balls or just lack of, uh, what is it? Brain cells? <laughs> uh, lack of brain cells? Well, it's worked for me all these years, so. I've had a lot of people, especially people, like, down low, you know, on the bottom. Peasants would say it's a lack of brain cells, but I say it's a big brass set of balls. Crane? No, it's a cruise missile. Under attack, folks. Run for your lives, folks. We're under attack.
What in tarnation? Kim Jong. Huh? It's Kim Jong Un. We're under attack, folks. Get in your basements. If you don't have a basement, get in your bathtub. Put <laughs> your mattress over it. We don't have a bathtub. That's right. Run yeah, for the hills, the folks. Take it right, right here. Flip the Tacoma around and run five yards, ten kick her in four wheel low <laughs> and head her off road. It's our only chance. Yeah. Air down the tires, kick her in four wheel low, and take her off road. It's our only chance. And just like that, she was gone. Just like that, she was gone. My rev limiter? All right, let's go. Oh, it's great. My rev limiter sound like that. <laughs> it's weird. I'm not a smart man, but like I do know what love know. is. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. Hey, there it is again. It came out. Oh, it didn't? That's the trail. <laughs> Yeah, let's go into outer space. Let's blow out all of our GPS. Right, 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 right. Take it right. Take it right. He can't crank it. Steer it harder, it'll clear it itself. Then you won't have to cut it. We'll be building an electric elbow. Oh, Jesus. Why do you jerk the wheel when you can't see it? It wasn't me. I was reaching for my thing and my hand jerked it. God. My truck's like brown now. As soon as he lost it, Like you care what's going on with your truck? I do. You size all the fenders. That doesn't matter. I can buy new fenders. Oh. But well, you, you can wash your truck. There it is. Drive, huh? There it is. Good place to take a van. Two wheel drive. I don't even have windshield washer. Fluid. Why are you so dumb? Should I put it in four wheel drive? Why are you such a stupid dummy? Yeah, get in the middle of my little Pull up alongside him. Let's see where he wants to go. Why isn't it going? Good, how are you? Oh, you guys are the tow company. Yeah, we are. Oh, okay, you are. <laughs> Where are you wanting to go? You want to go forward or back? I'm trying to go back that way. Okay. Yeah, I've had to learn this package, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to go down. We're going to scope it out and see if it's going to be better to pull you straight, turn around, and come back through. I'm guessing it probably is, because that side's the truck right there in the front. Oh, it is? So I was going back and forth, and so it's a pretty good path right there. It just needs a little bump to go over that tiny thing, and I should be out of here. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna check it out. Thank you. Yes, sir. You need me to get behind the wheel of this or are you gonna be able to get it? It's just my finger. Yeah. I can't see I'm surprised when he asked, oh, y'all aren't the towing company. Why didn't you say, oh, I just stole this pile. I'm having a footprint gas pedal installed in my record. Bro. It's hard right here. Kinda. Alright, well back her up back her on a hot rod. Are you filming this or what are you doing here? Anybody got water? Does anybody got any lights? I That's good, that's good. 
All right, Gear Bear, hook it up. That's what we brought you for. Because we knew that the front of the van was in mud. Get in the suit. Yeah. I wish suit, if we had one, I would. You guys have been telling me for years. Really? Yeah. Well, I used to do this route right years ago. And I can't count the times it was there. But here, I hit that in, this little turn. Yeah. It's yeah. soft. That truck's struggling right there. It's a two -wheel drive, rear wheel, worthless. All right, put, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put, put two, put two, uh, put two slings around the A-arms. You know, one over there, one over here, and then a soft shackle right between the two of them. That's what you guys do, but I got a little bit of plastic if you want to put something like that on. Uh, let's see if we can get to it from the wheel wells. Without laying on the ground. Ooh, some ruts. Jeez. All right. Yeah. Alright, so we got our wrecker rick rope hooked up. Got a little Yankum apparatus in the hitch and uh, the narrow behind the wheel. So, stand by, folks. It might get western. Can you see everything? Yeah. Good? Yeah. You want to get the Minnesota Vikings score on there? <laughs> Yeah, tell them the score. What's that? 21-27. They're catching up. Sorry, Eagles. Say 21-27? Yeah. I always forget these are kinetic ropes. That little really? Thing, that's funner doing recovery than that little thing. <laughs> uh, black bedding and everything else is just too easy. <laughs> it's just like not as... You can get any of that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Did they kick it up a lot? Huh? <laughs> this thing's spinning wheels all the time. Your truck was I mean, it's a little bit. some fire. Well, I was gonna pull some of my bag into now. Now you insult my bag. Just like that, folks. You got water in there? I guarantee Just you. Just like that. What's it's in your little cooler? Little Toyota. Here. Big, heavy, full-size van. Wrecker, Rick rope kit. It's all you need. So be sure to get on there and get yourself one. Can I start over the bench now? No. Pop open that cooler. Uh, I think you can get the back in right here. We'll pull forward. Either pull straight in or back in, either way, and then we'll turn around. Oh, yeah. Where's Tate? He's out of here. <laughs> His girlfriend's been calling. He's like, I got to go. <laughs> What's that? Oh, which one? I just said my girlfriend said what? Oh, his girlfriend. I've got to leave it up 
What? You didn't want to wait till we go through the mud hole? We'll save something for the other side, eh? A lot better. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> that just made it worse. Just watch through the phone. I guarantee you the phone can see through that. Yeah, it can, actually. Uh, no shit. <laughs> Dude, this is going to be a fun drive. Pretty good getting himself out of the first rut. Same road. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It just rained while we were in there. It's Arizona, bro. They're all the same road, just like everybody's cousin. How about this dash, huh? Are you stoked about your new truck? Yeah, it's my favorite. How about all this mud all over it? I'm stoked about that. Hard. Huh? It's been uh, four wheeling hard. God. They're never going to believe he wasn't drinking. <laughs> Cops can't pull us Oh, uh, yeah, my girlfriend's going to just I'm gonna go home smelling like yeah. beer. But yeah, out of recovery. Should I fill the reservoir with it? I probably would if I <laughs> fill the reservoir and you should run the tubes inside the cab <laughs> so we can get a drink anytime we'd like. Go ahead and put some inside your box. Too. Just kidding, folks. We do, I don't even drink. Uh, apparently, De Niro likes to toss them back. Yeah, we don't a advocate drinking and driving, so just a joke. For me, this is the only thing beer is good for is watching the windshield. It's a little better. Do you drink, Rod? Uh, no. Oh, here's some water here. I forgot I had some. Apparently, <laughs> apparently De, De Niro likes to toss them back, though. It smells good. Ah, it, does, it reminds me of the old days. So it reminds me of that smell. The, the good old days. Those days are far behind me. You know, Rowdy, I killed Rowdy. Rowdy's gone. He's dead, never coming back. For those of you that don't know, that's who Rowdy is. It's my alter ego. And... I thought you have to sell it. Over it. You don't even huh? know Rowdy. What? So I thought you have to sell it like Rowdy's a totally different person. Yeah, Rowdy's a scumbag dude. Better. <laughs> well, uh, we're not going to drive like this the whole way, folks. We're just driving really slow down the interstate, safe and slow, I'm getting my belt on. Get my lap belt on right now, safety first. Buckle up, folks. Buckle up. Everybody in their truck, buckle up. All right, folks. Three write ups when we get back to the shop.